so in this video i will discuss about signal isolator that is used for a process transmitter so the functions of the signal lighter is uh, signal isolation signal convergence signal splitting signal linearization digitizing the process signal and multi channel uh, applications so out of all these so basic uh, function is signal isolation in addition to the signal isolation the remaining functions can also be achieved by the signal isolator so if you consider a differential pressure transmitter that is sending a 4 to 20 milliampere measurement signal to the receiver such as a recorder or a uh, analog input module so but when the voltages of these two uh, the transmitter and receiver are at different grounds so a circulating closed uh, current path is formed by the copper wires that are used for the 4 to 20 milliampere signal and the ground which is shown in the figure so but when this happens any additional and unpredictable amount of current is introduced in the into the loop so this current will distort the true measurement of the 4 to 20 milliampere signal so this current path i which is shown is known as the ground loop and it is very common source of signal inaccuracy so there should be some way to eliminate this ground path so a ground loop forms when three conditions are present so when there are two different grounds for the transmitter and the receiver the grounds are at different potentials and there is a conductive path between the grounds the first two points cannot be eliminated and only way to eliminate uh, this ground loop is isolation between the transmitter and the receiver so this isolation signal isolation is achieved by optical means or uh, uh, transformer uh, by using the transformer or by using the capacitor means in optical means so the signal is converted to an um, uh, light and then at the other side there is an opto transistor opto drive for detecting the signal and in transformer the isolation achieved by using uh, the electromagnetic induction there is no direct uh, conduction of uh, the current and in capacitor means the signal isolation is achieved by electrostatic field. In addition to the signal isolation, so the isolator is also having the signal conversion picture. So here we see in the non-isolated 4 wire transmitter or 2 wire transmitter which is giving the 1 to 5 volt signal. So but whereas the most commonly accepted and um, used uh, signal is 4 to 20 milliampere signal because it is having an advantage. So for this purpose the signal isolated in addition to the signal mm, isolation it also uh, converts the signal. So here in this example you see 1 to 5 volt signal is converted to 4 to 20 milliamperes. So distal signal conversion. So most of the uh, field bus transmitters as will have a hot uh, field bus in addition to the 4 to 20 milliampere signal. But many PLGs, DCS and um, that accept mod bus RTO. So one of the requirement of uh, signal uh, isolator is in addition to signal conversion, if it converts uh, the hot signal to mod bus RTO, then there is an easy and efficient way to get this hot data into the control system that does not natively accept the hot. Here if you see the Modbus host, but whereas the signal from the transmitter is the heart. So this um, signal isolated in addition to signal isolation, it also converts this heart uh, field bus uh, protocol to the uh, Modbus protocol. So signal splitter. So there are applications uh, that uh, requires uh, the multiple output so for example if you take uh, the process signal that is coming from the transmitter 4 to 20 milliampere that needs to be feed to a plc that is basic process control system and also if this basic process control system does not uh, reduce the risk then the safety instrument system will come into picture so if the application requires um, two outputs so signal isolated in addition of uh, in addition to the signal isolation it also splits the signal to the two uh, different outputs so linearization so micro based uh, micro processor based isolators uh, and converters offer the this linearization feature which is not found in uh, uh, analog isolator so custom linearization is uh, done by using this signal isolator suppose if you consider a non-linear uh, tank as shown in this uh, figure so which measures the level and converts uh, this level to the volume so and before uh, sending this signal to um, the plc see the signal isolator in addition to the signal isolation it linearizes this uh, non-linear volume to the linear signal and then transmits to the plc 
so multi channel if the application uh, requires uh, so multiple uh, signal isolations instead of uh, signal single isolation uh, so these uh, multi channel isolators can be used thank you for watching my video